the object-oriented concepts and software engineering design are actually quite surprisingly close to each other. Uh, the ideas of object orientation are actually quite useful when we think about how the software should be constructed and how the modules and objects should be designed. So this is probably the place where you might want to look through your uh, course introduction to object oriented programming since we are talking about messages, inheritance, generalizations and other object attributes which are all the same things as defined in the object oriented programming course. So what does this have to do with software design? First of all, in our documentation you have to make the distinct difference between class and object. If we talk about class like uh, dog here, we mean that it's the general generic definition of any class. If we talk about object, for example Fido here, Fido is a dog and object is always a representative of one class. But unlike class which is just list of attributes and states and variables and services or methods an object has clear identity it has its own ID number so to say own name own age it has its own bark behavior so when talking about object-oriented design we design classes but what we actually use are objects which are instances of these classes Similarly, these objects we have on our program or in our system, the ob objects react to messages. The message here means that it's a co uh, call for action. The, a message causes an object to do something. For example, this object here could get a message that it needs to deposit money or make uh, changes to the balance variable, withdraw, same thing here, or get balance, just return the amount of that variable. So basically each object reacts to message and these messages are the arrows and uh, other notations which you will see in the UML diagrams going from one object to another. So what does this all have to do with the object-oriented ideas and, de and system design. First of all, the idea is that we have a couple of things from the object design or object-oriented thinking. Encapsulation, cohesion and coupling. Uh, first of all, the information hiding, which is useful, means, uh, which is useful in abstract design, means that we can uh, hide irrelevant information from one part to another. So if two modules have nothing to do with each other, they should not be able to influence each other or function or prevent each other from working. This means uh, that module should be designed so that everything happens within the module that needs to be happen within the module and that there should be no way to access the internal parts unless there really really is need to do so. This is uh, a related to the cohesion and coupling concepts. The cohesion means that the uh, module which we design as a part of the entire system of software is self-contained and performs a single well-defined function. This means that high cohesion uh, means that the module is really really well-defined and it has really really well-defined focused responsibility. Almost something like a water pump in car engine. The water pump is the module or part responsible for pumping water in the car. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't pump oil, for example. But 
it does water pumping and we know that if there is a problem with the water flow or cooling the water pump may be something that's broken. Low, ho low cohesion means that the module in this case in software does a bit of that and bit of those things and it's really hard to see what's the actual function of the module. This is problematic since if we don't have clear definition of our module we may not be able to change or revise or refractor this module ever since we cannot be certain on what parts does this module affect. Similarly the couple, coupling it is a degree of interdependence of modules. Highly coupled modules components mean that they are reliant to each other. And this would probably mean something like a module that uses another module's calculating functions to perform correctly. Or in general, the uh, high coupling is preferred in modules because it means that we don't have to worry about the uh, interdependence of parts and can replace modules as we like. Of course the calculation modules and stuff like that are usually something that comes from the platform or operating system so we really can't calculate those activities as being sign of high coupling but instead of using the platform's own available services. High coupling, on the other hand, here means that we have own modules which are dependent on each other, whereas low coupling means that the module receives message, message and is able to perform everything by itself and be done with it. And if we need to change the module, then we can just take that part out and change everything as long as we provide every functionality that the old module had. So basically, the object-oriented design means that we should define classes, or in this case software modules, uh, so that they have highest possible cohesion and lowest possible coupling. This means that the object is able to hide the information it's using, and it has real highly defined purpose, and it's able to perform on its own so that it's as a a part in car engine. If that part fails you can change it, if it's not efficient enough you can change it. If you want to tune up your software in software systems something like change your research, uh, search algorithm for example, you just rewrite that part of that module that does the search work and everything functions after that if, you, we, if we ensure that we didn't accidentally change anything on the module interface.